Let's take a look at woody plants of the southeastern United States, a field botany course on CD. When you first start the program, you'll see a screen that looks like this. You can click on the introduction to the ImageQuids family of programs to open a PDF viewer and read a short description of the project. The second button on this introductory screen will open your web browser and take you to a short tutorial of woody plants. We really recommend that you take this tutorial before you do anything else because it will give you a good outline of how to use the program. If you've done these two operations and you want, don't want to see this message anymore each time you start the program, you can uncheck the button, show this menu on startup, and then using the little red X, close the box. Now you won't see it when you start the program. If you want to find it again, you can go back under our Help menu and click on Opening Screen and it'll pop up again and the box Show This Menu on Startup will be checked. So let's uncheck that and close it and we're back to our opening screen. On the opening screen, or the main screen, we see four buttons. When we mouse over these buttons, they turn colors, so the green becomes brighter green, etc. And that tells us where our cursor is. Clicking on any of them will take us to that part of the program. We can also access all of these parts of the program from the keyboard or from the menu at the top. Let's look under the menu. Under Run, we can see we have the Study, Quiz, and Test options here, as well as the Taxa selection. And our keyboard shortcuts are also shown. Almost everything in Woody Plants will run from keyboard shortcuts, and we really recommend that you try to get in the habit of using the keyboard rather than the mouse to navigate through the program because it will really speed up your use of the program and make its use much easier. For now, we'll use the mouse, and in fact, in most of these tutorials, we'll be using the mouse because you can see what I'm doing. Let's look at how we select some taxa. So taxa are groups of organisms. In this case, we're going to look at plant species. Well, actually, when we click on our Select Taxa button, we get a drop-down menu that allows us to select family, genus, or species. For right now, we'll select species because it'll show us the most options on the next screen. We can also decide whether we're going to learn these plants by common name or by scientific name. If the box is unchecked, we're learning them by scientific name, and we'll use that as a starting point. Clicking OK now brings us to our taxonomic selection dialog box. Now, unfortunately, we've got to know what family, genus, and species we want to study. And if you're a novice at using the program, you may not know those. We'll show you how to remedy this in a later video. For right now, let's just assume we want know that we want to study the Juglandaceae, the family that contains the hickories and the pecans. So we can click on that and then click on one of the genera, Caria in this case, the genus that contains the pecan, and let's select then one or two of the species for study. We've now highlighted those species and if we click again on a second one, it will be highlighted, and we can click, in fact, and select as many as we want. But let's just start with two of them. We're going to say Add. That adds them to our selecting list, to our selected list. Notice that our Add buttons under the Genus category and under the Family category are grayed out. We can only select at the Species level right now because that's what we told the program we wanted to do. We then click Finished and we have selected our taxa. It doesn't look like we've done anything at this point, but the program knows what we want to study. In the next video, we'll continue from here and go to Study Plants to show you some of the options.